Hey all, this is Anirudh. Today I am going to show you how you can pre-fill radio button or checkbox value in Power Apps. So in one of my last video, I shown how you can replace one drop down, single selection drop down to a radio button. Or if it is a multi-selected drop down, then you how you can convert it as a checkbox. Correct. Few of my subscriber uh, asked question that how we can uh, pre-fill the radio button or that checkbox when we are editing one item. Correct. Let me show you how we can do that. So I have made four screen. Okay, pretty simple. First is start screen. Then I get input from the user whether it is a new bug or an existing bug they wanted to update. If it is a new bug, test 45, let's say, E3. Severity S1, basic and intermediate. I am doing submit the same list. So, this is the thing I just submitted. Now, I am going here, going to search. Okay, this is the test 45. You can select it, will be pre filled. If I select another one, it will select. Right now. If I wanted to change, uh, let's say the new bug Q1 S3 submit. So earlier it was basic intermediate, now it is basic at advanced. Submit. Okay. It is like this. Now it is basic advanced. So things are working fine. Now let me show you how what I have done. Start in there is nothing much, only <clears throat> if you can remember in the last uh, video here I have created one collection so whenever I am checking or unchecking anything I am updating one collection so that collection I have reset I, I mean clear correct second thing is that it is nothing only one radio button hard coded two values in the next button I considered whether it is a new or existing. So if it is new, then I created one global variable setting at a new, correct? In this series, Power Apps Basics, there is a part number two. You can watch that video. And that video I describe uh, how you can do one form working as a new input or update for the same form, correct? So based on the selection, if it is a new, then I redirect to main screen. If it is a existing one, first they need to search. So search item screen should be redirected. Okay. So currently new next. Here, what are the things are there? Uh, the same form. There is nothing much. Only update is here the default selection. If it is a bare mode edit. Then this dot priority dot value should be selected. Okay. This dot priority, how it automatically come? Let me show you. So this is the form. The form, so there is a data source. So there will be no change in the data source. Data source will be same for adding and editing. Correct. But for editing, when it is editing, then which item need to be update or edit? We need to tell. Which one? Browse gallery one dot selected. What is this? In the search screen, I have created one gallery. In this gallery, whatever I am selecting, this against this button, I actually selected that item. And that item I am repopulating here. Correct. Okay. So here I uh, tested that whether it is edit mode, if it is edit mode, or whatever earlier submitted, that should be uh, selected by default. Correct. It is a uh, I mean same thing so I have not checked anything change anything but here as last day I saw you I have placed one gallery in this gallery I have placed that uh, force affected drop down let me show you that drop down which I actually hidden last day okay so every time this should be updated because this value getting uh, submitted at the backend, not this one. Correct. 
so whenever i am selecting it is automatically getting updated correct so as i said last day every checkbox have so as i said i mean in the gallery there is items item is same like this whatever the item assigned to item assigned to this drop down the same drop down i assigned to gallery now there is a checkbox in this checkbox there is two event one is on check one is on on check in on check what i have done is i i collect that value whatever value they are selecting on on check whatever value they are deselecting i am removing from that collection right this is the thing i have done and uh, that's all and uh, one thing i need to tell you about here here what i have done is if i am clicking here selecting here first select parent select parent means that item need to be selected first then bare mode should be added because i am going to edit this item then there will be a collection that collection the same collection i am reloading or filling all the uh, values of that item correct and then i am navigating to that uh, area another thing one of the subscriber asking how we can show multiple data uh, in a view mode so in the view mode first of all as i said there is a gallery then inside that gallery i have created another gallery in this gallery what i have done is that multiple column value should be there first okay then i have placed one uh, level in that level i have placed the value of the things so if it is a more than one then it will come like this if you want to do in a different way you can do i mean horizontal way i'm deleting this here okay so instead of this this item dot force affected that is the field i want to show here i'll put like this okay here i have to put the value okay not this one this dot value this item dot value okay so only thing is that it will like this okay in a horizontal mode if you want to do like this so it is your choice that's all now the last thing i wanted to tell you about this collection so that hidden drop down last day i have created the collection like uh, i have created one property in the collection called title and then i push the value in that collection right uh, in today's demo i remove that title correct right? because there is a single property so there is a no sense of making property in inside the collection so this is the only single change rest of the things are same as you uh, have seen last day here there was a title uh now there is only value so it will be only value correct so at the end you can just hide this do like perfect and that's all thanks for watching